What we're gonna do on our gym build is build some weights. Alright guys, welcome to the video. So you'll realize number one, I'm in my basement and there's a very simple reason for that. It is November 19th, one week before Thanksgiving and it is cold. So uh, you can't really build concrete weights in a cold environment. So we're in the basement where it's a little bit more warm. Um, so the reason we're building weights, number one, is because if you're looking into building a gym or if you're currently building your own, you'll realize or shortly realize that buying weights can be one of the most expensive things to do in your gym. Um, so to help cut that cost, there are a couple things that you can do. Uh, number one, you can build some weights. And how we're gonna do that is very simple. Um, I found a company in Texas uh, called Sticks and Stone. They're a small company in Texas and they actually build concrete weight molds. Now, I've already built some of these weights. Uh, they came out phenomenal. This is a great idea for um, Sticks and Stone. So glad that they did this. And as someone who lived in Texas for 10 years, uh, Texas is very near and dear to my heart. And they're a small base company. And I'm also a small base company. So um, these molds are gonna come with a couple things. Number one, it's gonna come with your metal insert for your barbell. You're gonna need to attach that to the mold with a hot glue gun. This they do not provide. You're also gonna be provided with uh, some fiberglass. This fiberglass is to help strengthen your concrete. They do not provide the concrete. Um, the concrete that I prefer to get is going to be this Pro Finish 5000. It's 5000 PSI. Uh, you can get that from Lowe's for like seven bucks. Um, so that's the two things that they provide, a metal insert and the fiberglass. What you're gonna need to get is number one, a hot glue gun, the concrete. You're also gonna need to get some silicon spray, uh, a scale to weigh your weights out, and two other things, which are going to be a mask and some gloves. Um, you don't want to get concrete poisoning. Um, you're also going to need a mixing tub for your concrete if you don't have an electric mixer. So, now that that's all done, let's get to work. First things first, you're going to want to uh, bead the inside of this metal insert because you don't want to get the concrete in the center of it. Plus you don't want this to shift or come out during the process. Make sure you get that down, twist it a few times. There you go. Let it sit for a little bit. And you're going to want to do the other one. Now this won't take too long to actually bond. So what you're gonna wanna do afterward, let's get to mixing the concrete. Again, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a mask and some gloves. You want to get your water and stuff ready as well. Now that we've got the concrete in our mold, um, 
The only thing we have to do now is agitate it uh, to let the air pockets come up, which will give the, um, the imprint of the mold a smoother look. If you don't have a massage gun, um, that's okay. You can get one really cheap at the dollar store and it'll do just as, uh, just as well. Set it to a good frequency. Probably the highest setting would be the best, 60 hertz. And then we're just gonna slowly work our way around the mold. Now that uh, the weight is agitated, now the only thing we have to do is cover it. This is gonna keep some of the moisture in there and that moisture will uh, prolong the curing process, which the longer it takes, the uh, stronger it will be. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of cover this. I'm not gonna make it too snug. Cover this one, there we go. And then we'll just let them sit. Once you cover it, you're gonna wanna let it sit for about 24 to 48 hours um, before you flip it over and take it out of the mold. The reason is because the first 24 to 48 hours, it's at its most fragile, so the, the last thing you wanna do is go through all the work to build them and then have them crack when you go to take them out of the mold. Um, also, really important, uh, it's gonna take about 30, 35 days uh, for the concrete to be at its strongest. So before you actually start to lift your weights, you're gonna wanna wait about a month after, after you've done it. And I've already got some that, have, that are cured. Um, I've actually got them right behind me and I'm gonna show you those uh, because this is what they'll look like. All right, so a couple things you're gonna need, either some styrofoam or a couple of towels uh, to flip your weights over onto and to prevent, again, them cracking. Anyway, that's how you do some concrete weights. So the next thing that we can do is again, uh, add some Herky liner rubber coating to it. Maybe add some paint. Uh, definitely put some like weight of the, the concrete as well as the kilograms on there. And then we'll be good to go.